Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my update for the Partners in Crane Project Pan. This was a project started by Steph Lyons and Dalin. Um, her username is Outward Processing here on YouTube. I'll link them down below along with the playlist. If you haven't seen any of these videos before, this is a project that is focusing on all our crane products so i actually have mine lined up right here on the side so i'm not digging through my basket looking for them as i'm filming this so i have five products in total last month i actually added the pacifica a light clean foundation this one here before that i had a NYX. before that i had a nyx concealer but it was actually a lot emptier than I thought so it went by really really quickly so let's start with the first product the Maybelline bouncy blush this is in shade 30 candy coral I actually only used it eight times pretty much all of them I used a lot less than what I expected to because I didn't really do my makeup and when I did, I was trying to plan looks for 31 days of Halloween, which I do over on Instagram. So I was mostly using face paints for that and not really doing a full face of regular makeup. It does move around quite a lot when I press my stipple brush into it. But that's what I use to apply it. I have tried using just my fingers or a beauty blender and I feel like it doesn't really get payoff when I do. I feel like I have to grab a lot more for it to actually show up. Since I only used it about 8 times before this update, next month I'm going to make it a goal to use it 10 since I am halfway through my 31 days of Halloween look, so I should be able to have more time to do regular makeup. Next is my Trust Fund Highlighter, a product that I barely use. One of the reasons that I barely use it is because it is so hard to get it out of the tube. I only used it five times, and as you can see, it's very difficult to get out. It is pretty once it's on there, but it just makes it more of an inconvenience to use it. I think for the highlighter, I'll just make it a goal of... I think for the next update, I would like to make it a goal to also use it up 10 times. So that means maybe I'll have a goal for all of them to use 10 times. Aside from a couple that I already know, I use a lot more often. Next product is something that I actually have been using quite a lot. It is my e.l.f. cream liner. It dries around the top quite a lot, so it makes it kind of difficult to get even amounts. Even so, I did use it a total of 17 times. I actually use it quite a lot in my Halloween looks. There's no signs of being able to see the outside through any of these. In a moment, I'll show you what I mean by that. But I'll make a goal to use this one. I used it 17, so we'll do 20. Up next is my Amuse Eye Primer. If you can see that there, that's what I was talking about when I said that. There is no signs of being able to see outwards any of the clear packaging through there in the elf eyeliner i actually used this one 23 times this is an eye primer from shop miss a it's very creamy and soft so it's something that i easily reach for since i used it 23 times i like to make the goal just 
to reach 20 again. Lastly is my Pacifica Alight foundation. This one, when I started, I had only used it a few times. I don't remember what my goal was for it, but I did use it seven times. And that's also because in another project pan, I do have another foundation. So I tried to reach for them pretty evenly. For the next update, I'd like to have used it at least 10 times, maybe have some type of visibility here that we've used it, because as of now, you can't tell. And that is it for this project pan update. If you're interested in following me along on my journey with this Partners in Cream project pan, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you don't forget to come back and check out the update next month. I also participate in other project pans, so if you enjoyed watching this, you can check them out. I'll have them linked down below and I'll also have them so you can easily tap into them on the end screen. Let me know what you think of my progress or if you have any tips and tricks on using some of these cream products a lot more efficiently. Don't forget if you're working on a project pan, sound off below and hit that like button. See you guys soon. Bye. Every time we say goodbye, they all see that it's a lie. Cause we always give it one.